Hello again, I'm Martin Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5750 Ice Q Plus 1GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5750 video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, a case badge, Dirt 2 DirectX 11 game coupon, one 6-pin power adapter, a crossfire bridge, and a DVI to VGA adapter. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV850 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 1.04 billion transistors. The HIS IceQ Plus cooler is a blower style cooler and a very impressive one for this class of video card. It has a plastic UV reactive top and a fan that pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink, and then ports all the warm air outside the case. The heatsink is aluminum and has lots of fins. Also, the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and the memory on this side of the video card. But oddly enough, no heat plate or heat sinks are included for the memory on this side of the video card. There are three video connections, one DVI, one display port, and one HDMI connection which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. Also at the top are the Crossfire bridge connections. This video card only requires one 6-pin power cable connection and the power consumption is 86 watts at maximum load and 16 watts at idle. Now while a high wattage power supply is really not required, a quality brand name power supply is recommended, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 700 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 128 bit memory is 4.6 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 720 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 36 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 11.2 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 25.2 gigatexels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 73.6 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling. And Power Play power management technology, which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology, which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600, which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high-definition visual experience. Now let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. Remember, the video card driver sets the fan speed automatically, but it can be set manually.
this video card has major bang for the buck. So if you're in the market for a video card but you do not have a lot of money to spend, consider this. It has lots of features and technologies. It will support today's games and upcoming future DirectX 11 games. You can have a multiple display setup and it comes with a very quiet cooler. Now, one thing it's not big on is performance. And of course, that is to be expected because it is a budget video card. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.